Hello. Oh, yeah. Doug, please. Who's calling? This is Muncie. My name's Muncie. I got your number from the fellow up at the Cracker Barrel. Uh, I was just hoping to talk to Doug real quick. All right. This is Doug. Oh, hi, Doug. My name's Muncie Parnell. How are you doing today? Yeah. Well, I'm still alive and talking. Oh, brother. I hear you loud and clear. I'm friends with Abraham up at the Cracker Barrel. And see, I Whoa. just I just moved to Coventry uh, here about five days back. Mm-hmm. No kidding. Yes, from Chatsworth, well, California is where I moved from. Oh, my goodness. A good thing you did. It's getting washed away out there. Oh, exactly. It was in the exact nick of time. Wow. By the power of Nicodemus. Perhaps. Wicked. <laughs> Wick, wicked. Wicked, wicked oh. stuff up around uh, the upper portion of Los Angeles. Oh, big time, big time. And, you know, uh, Abraham up at the Cracker Barrel, Yeah. he told me that he thinks I live just around the corner, just around yonder from you up here. And uh, I just moved into a house over here, and I've got a forklift, actually. And I was driving it around, you know, just driving it around in my driveway, my forklift. Yeah. And I went to pick up some sawhorses now. And I stacked two, three of them up there, and they're all jammed up in my forklift here. Oh, it's a shame, really. Oh, you know. You know? So I thought maybe I could just drive the forklift over to your place, and maybe you could just see what I'm talking about. It's kind of a jammed up kind of sawhorse forklift kind of experience. <laughs> well, you know, I would, uh, I would uh, welcome you, but in the last maybe ten years, I've got rid of all my tools and everything, and. Uh, this area that I'm living in, just down the street on the Patriot Way, uh, they don't they don't care for any. Uh, you can't work on your cars and things like that in the driveway. Oh, really? I yeah. see. It's kind of a restricted. It's it's very nice, but it's you people come and go, and that's it. Well, you know, I met the sheriff. And it uh, turns out he's a fiddle player, just like myself. Good, and I play a fiddle, too. You play a fiddle, too? Well, gosh darn. Yeah. I'll tell you something right here. That's <laughs> I'm, not right that, that. I'm not that good, and I haven't been practicing. Oh. But I can play the, the piano and uh, the violin or the fiddle. Oh. But I haven't been practicing. You know, I'm oh, getting no? up there in my... Getting close to 90, so uh, well, listen, losing my touch. Would you be willing to just uh, lay your hands on my forklift and just see what you can pry loose? Just shake her loose for me one time, would you, if you slap me something on this one? I'd consider it a big favor because I'm new in town over here. I just live down yonder from me. In what street are you on? I'm on Patriot Way. Mm -hmm. You're right on Patriot Way? Yes, sir. Are you before the firestorm or after the firestorm? I'm after the firestorm. You live across the street from uh, the uh, senior citizens' home? Oh, yes. I was already over there earlier today. There's a lady on uh, the staff there, and she came out, and she looked at my forklift. I drove the forklift over there, and <laughs> she told me to get lost. So then I talked to Abraham up at the Cracker Barrel, like I said. He said, call Doug. Now, he lives yep. right there in Coventry is what he said. And I said, by God, I'll do it. I'm going to call Doug because, by God, that's what I'm going to do over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'll just figure I'll ride over with the forklift and the sawhorses. But don't worry. I've got snow tires on there because sometimes <laughs> I use it as a secondary form of transportation because I'm well. new in town. Oh, well, that's all right. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know, oh, uh, yeah. I've been around a long time, and I've been everywhere and done everything. And 
you got to adapt and... Uh... Exactly. exactly. Oh. I hear you loud and clear, so, old-timer. I just so turned 77 time? years of age. Oh, for God's sakes. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'm Sounds from Chatsworth, like California, originally. My God. My son's out in Arizona. He's a uh, rocket scientist. You don't say. Yeah, he's done done well. What kind of stuff is he getting worked up about here? He works on parts that go in, or he designs them and works on them and tests them, that go into all of the rockets that go up towards the moon or to uh, outer space. Well, my gosh. Now, where is he situated yep. at? In, uh, oh, brother, it's just down the road from... Uh, uh, see, uh... Lahana Police Station. I'm almost trying to think of the town that he lives in. It, Phoenix is in that same area, only he lives almost 20 miles from the Mexican border. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is the Lahaina Police Station. Yes? You Can I help you? Here? You called the police station? No. Baton Rouge City Police, this is Wheeler. Hello. Hello. Yes. This is the police. Do you need the police? No, but I did call okay. the police station about two weeks ago. The social worker at the hospital told me to call this. I think the woman's name was Block. Okay, what are you calling for? French Police Dispatcher Lion. No, she this social worker just said call this woman at the police station she's associated with uh, getting people settled down and things like that Hello, police dispatch this is april how can i help you Hi, this april. Is hello the police department april hello? i'm all set yes april i'm all set what do you mean you're all set just what i said you're also on with the police department. What can I help you with? I have nothing. I have not called the police department. Well, you just called us. Where not me. You? Where, Where am I? Right yes. down on uh, Patriot Way. What's, what city are you in? Coventry. Okay. Yeah, now what state is that? I don't know who that is talking now. What state are you in? Rhode Island. Oh, I'm so proud of where you uh, got connected to the Baton Rouge City Police. So you're gonna have and to. And this contact is Rensler, and this is Rensler Police in New York. Oh my lord! I'm, I'm, I don't know how this got all mixed the up. The person you have dialed. Uh, can't take your call now. At the tone, please record your message. Sir, if you, I'm going to hang out with you, okay? Go, good. Thank you. All right. Bye. What the hell? 